to Ryu here. Guys, we got some reveals. Let's get into it. So guys, our first reveal is Shura Stealth Dragon Yamo Kongo. So Kongo's skill is when you place him on V, your opponent chooses six cards in their hand and has to discard the rest. Insane, right? And get this, if you have a grade three in soul, instead they choose four. And this happens when placed and at the end of turn. So let's say your opponent has like a 12 card hand and you have a grade three in soul. They have to reduce their hand to four. And then at the end of the turn, after they get two more cards from their Vanguard's drive check, they have to discard another two cards. This card is amazing. But what makes it super broken is premium. So you can ride this in premium and then you can play Rin when they're down to four cards in hand and dominate two of their cards and all of a sudden they're down to two cards. Or if they have a low enough amount of rear guards, you can use Ziggurasu, the grade three without any gift, discard two Sentinels, return units and make them to discard the rest of their hand basically. So like this is amazing because essentially if you have the right cards, you can literally drop your opponent's hand either to two or zero. Like it's just ridiculous, especially in premium when you have your opponent at five damage. If you drop their entire hand at that point, <laughs> you just basically kill them. It's ridiculous. It's, it's just so ridiculous. I really think people aren't understanding just how amazing this card is going to be. Anubis is just going to be rampant all over premium with this card. In standard, I'm not 100% on how good it's going to do, but because it has the ability to reduce your opponent's hand to six and then four on the next ride, it's actually not bad. And I really do think this is going to help Nubos win games and it's going to help us against a lot of different clans, especially clans that need hand, especially clans that really need those pieces like OTT, because they're gonna draw as much cards as they can to keep those pieces. So they might keep the pieces when you discard them, but by getting those out of their hand, you're actually hurting their late game, which is great to not have to deal with decks that just draw a crap load of cards. And especially Angel Feather too, as well. The fact that you can make them toss pieces that they potentially need to keep plussing and turtling so that they don't get it anymore, which is just great. I'm definitely building Nubas, so look forward to that, guys. So our next card is Gauntlet Buster Dragon. That's right, guys. They brought back Naoki's number one unit from the start. Gauntlet Buster is so amazing. Listen to this skill, guys. So it gets plus 5,000 and a crit continuously for every single one of your open R on your opponent's field. So you're already going to be binding the front row usually with your units. So basically against a normal like force or protect deck, you're going to get plus 10,000 and a crit. But against an Excel deck where they're making extra circles, you could potentially get up to like 20K with four crit, which is insane. And with this mechanic, you can also damage deny like Gust Blaster. So not only is it an anti-Excel, but you can damage deny stuff as well. And on top of that, he has a second skill that if you counter blast one and discard one during your main phase, because it's an act, then you can bind your opponent's entire front row and then move any units behind those units up to a front row RC. So you can't move their Vanguard booster, but for one counter blast, it's not that bad. But generally what you're gonna do is you're not gonna use Gauntlet Buster's skill for that. You're really only gonna use it if you need to because we have Thunder Break, so we can CV1 with Thunder Break and not have to worry about discarding one to use Gauntlet Blaster skill. But still, this is amazing. Like Excel decks are just gonna die to this thing. It's just crazy. You have to be an Excel deck that can draw enough cards. Even with Excel too, if you don't draw enough, like Narcom, you're just gonna punish the crap out of you. Like you're just gonna get hurt hard. So our last and final reveal is Blazing Lion Platina Azel. His skill is act, counterblast one, and your first drive check becomes a call instead. So you don't get the trigger effect, it just calls it immediately from the top. And then if you have two grade threes in soul, you can do both trigger checks. So essentially just for attacking with your Vanguard and paying a counter blast, you're getting another two free attacks. So if you use it as your last ride, it's a great finisher and it's overall a really great card for a low cost. Well guys, that's all. Thanks for watching the video as always. Make sure to give us a like if you liked it, a dislike if you disliked it, and let us know in the comments how we can improve with constructive criticism. We'll always make sure to answer all our comments. Make sure to hit our subscribe button and our bell icon. 
for all our notifications. And as always, guys, let the wind blow.